Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Soul Blazer. So, no, I am not level 30 yet, I haven't even ground yet, but I thought I would show this off, show exactly what our stats are at this point. We have, I can't remember how many, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 23 strength, 24 defense, 54 hit points. I can gain one more point of defense over the next six le over, well, any amount of levels I gain. Only give me one more point of defense. I'm as strong as I can possibly get. The only thing that leveling up gets you at this point, besides that point of defense, is two hit points per level. Those hit points are going to be pretty freaking vital. I promise you this. But anyway... I'm going to pause the video now. When I come back, we will be level 30. Just one moment, folks. And indeed, I am now level 30. Full 24 defense, full 24 strength, and 66 hit points instead of 54. Could have ground up more, didn't really see a need to. Because at this point, it should not be overwhelmingly soul-crushing to try to beat the final boss. So, put the power bracelet on for some extra oomph. And now it's time to go finish this. Although I am going to be burning gems to do this. Okay, so this boss will kind of teleport around the room and launch some fireballs at us. This is not the most difficult phase of the game. I'll just have to remember to get ready to switch my medical orb when I get down, but that should not happen, not yet, anyway. Come on, show up. Thank you. The poor creature that repeats transmigration of the soul, which would be us. He wants to put us in a deep sleep. Think I can live without that. Ah. Thankfully, that's easy enough and I didn't take too much damage. And some people believe being constantly reincarnated means everlasting suffering. Not sure if he's talking about us or talking about him. Yeah, well. I guess it is. I have a feeling I will. So, let's talk about this boss while I've got things paused here. If you look around, you'll see there's a big skull head. There's a little shining gem on each side of him. And on the ground, little blue pillars are going to pop up. First, let's talk about the gems on each side. Those are going to send out a little laser that kind of goes a little bit, then recorrects its aim to try to get you but it will never go further than 45 degrees to the left or right as far as tracking side to side. Yet it's still remarkably good at hitting you. And that goes for both sides of that thing. The pillars on the ground will pop up, I have to chop them down, and then I can get a few swings in at the big skull head right before it launches some fireballs at me. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a bit of a pain. A little bit less of a pain than you might imagine, but still a pain. So anyway, let's see how badly I screw this up, huh? So see, the pillars are up, and I still got tagged. Did a point of damage. So that's not a ton of damage from the lasers as long as you don't take, you know, just continue to take them on the chin. See, they do one point of damage per hit, which is plenty. But anyway, we chop down those. I'm too far over to the middle. Ah. I'll 
try to get another... Nope, I had to go down too far. Too early. Yeah. Okay, that exchange was not a good one for me. Getting there. Ah. Come on, fire off again. And he is dead. Final boss defeated. But now we have a fairly long, long credit sequence. Technically in-game, but apparently some other people decided they need to stay here and seal the world of evil. It exists in the back of creatures' minds. That's why we needed stones. We needed to hit those creatures upside the head with the stones. Or something like that. And as long as people keep inventing stuff, the same thing's gonna happen. And whoever is talking, God, I would imagine, thinks we need to experience more. Figure out reasons for blank. All feelings, all connections, it says you'll be wise like the Master. We can move around, but can't go anywhere. Yes, we did. And this kind of auto plays, so I'm going to shut up now and let you guys enjoy. Mind the sound when I mute the mic here.
And that was Let's Play Soul Blazer. This game is really a lot of fun. Spiritual sequel to Act Razor in a few ways. Not a direct sequel by any means, even though there is kind of the same theme of restoring the world by defeating enemies and such. But yeah, very much, you know, a spiritual sequel. At least it got so much of the UI sound effects and music from Act Razor, it might as well be, huh? However, this game does have some direct sequels. So does Act Razor, but we will not play Act Razor 2 here because Act Razor 2 here takes all the interesting parts out and replaces them with just more platforming. Seriously, there are long plays and such up. It's pretty much just an action platformer challenge with nothing else going for it. However, Soul Blazer is the first in technically four games, one of which I had never gotten to play during the 90s because it did not come out in the US and didn't even get to and didn't even realize there was a third game in the trilogy. Well, in the trilogy, in the quadrilogy, I guess you could say, even though some people debate there are only three games. But yeah, there is Soul Blazer, there is Illusion of Gaia, then there is a game called Terranigma. Terranigma was never released in the US, never released in the North American market. And then there is a fourth game, but we will talk about that in just a second. Because... More text happens! Uh, to tell you the truth, kind of boring in this black void. Not a lot, really. She kind of fell in love with me. Don't know how that happens. Well, I mean, I guess she's kind of cute and all, but I barely know her. Hey, do you hear me? I just said it was boring in the black void. I said nothing about being attracted to that, to uh, Lisa. Are you just telling me you want me to move out the basement? You're not even listening to me, are you? You, damn it. Well, you called the goat turbo. That's... Oh, look! There I am, with no memory. Fantastic! I think so. My memory's been wiped. I couldn't tell you. Who are you? I suppose I might ask that question either way, but... Sorry! No bells being rung here. Sorry. No memories. Except a vague recollection of yelling at Dad. Because he was kicking me out of the basement. Oh well. Are we moving a little fast? I don't know you. Introductions would work. Why are you introducing me to the goat? Apparently you wanted to say hi. Okay. Apparently, I'm heavily fixated on that goat. Come on, 
bleed again. Why would you train a goat to follow you around? That sounds like it'd just be a disaster waiting to happen. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a fourth game that's kind of loosely considered to be, well, loosely by sources I've read, called the Grand Stream Saga. And because at the time this came out, I didn't realize it was actually part of the whole Soul Blazer universe, I think I played a demo of it at one point and never got around to playing the full game. At least back then. Now that I've learned, well, I've played all that stuff. But back then, they did not do a good job of promoting this series. I will just leave it there. But anyway, with that little speech, hopefully you can guess what I plan to do next. The question is if I can do it. Because I don't remember a lot about the next game in this series. I really don't. Oh well, I guess I get to jog my memory for the camera. That'd be kind of worrisome. Ugh. Me playing a game essentially blind. Don't really wanna, because I'm terrible at that. But anyway, this has gone on for long enough. Thank you all so much for joining me through this little romp down my nostalgic lanes. And next we return, even more nostalgia, I'm sure, for at least one or two of you. But until then, take care, everyone. I'll see you next time.